my name is Demi Theo and I'm here, I'm an, the author of, uh, co-author of Empowered in Heels and I'm here to talk about the book. But first I would like to talk a little bit about myself. I am a co-organizer of events. Um, I am a co-organizer of Toronto Kids Fashion Week since 2018. Um, I also am a co-organizer of uh, the Toronto International Youth Dance Festival. I've been a published model for a while now. I've been in a few magazines and also um, I work for Biz and Fashion magazine. I'm a writer, advertising and marketing director for the magazine as well. And I have my own DIY page uh, called the DIY by D. Uh, which is seen monthly. I do, uh, my background is an artist and I do a lot of crafts and arts and crafts and I showcase my arts and crafts and write about them uh, in my page. Uh, I do a lot of editorials and um, as I'm a writer and uh, interviews and um, I'm here to talk about um, Empowered in Heels but before I do I have written um, a children's book. Uh, it's called The Magical Chickadee and Friends stories and crafts and uh, this book I, there's five stories in there and I got the idea um, of last year uh, to put it together um, as I started a YouTube channel um, to, you know um, reading about stories about my stories and I figured why not uh, do my own stories and I had written uh, the, the magical chickadee a few years ago and I incorporated it into this book along with four other stories and uh, this was my very first book and uh, for children intended under 10 years old. And after each story, um, there is a DIY craft and it's, gonna, it's like a very fun book for kids. Um, that um, got me to um, get into another book, okay, um, called Empowered in Heels. I was asked by Susie Tamasi uh, she's the publisher of Biz and Fashion magazine as well as a fashion designer for Suzy Q Jewels. And uh, I was asked to um, embark on this beautiful journey with 11 other co-authors. Um, and uh, these co-authors are uh, 12 different women including me and we come from dif different paths in life. And it's supposed to be an inspirational book to inspire um, girls, women, you know, um, showing, you know, that um, like they can do whatever they want to do in life and inspire them. And um, it's, it's a very, very uh, good read. It's available on Amazon and now in chapters, I'm proud to say. And it actually, uh, we just got like a bestseller status on Amazon and I'm, I'm so proud. Um, it came out um, in January of uh, this year and uh, we all worked very very hard to make it happen and we're very proud of this book and um, that's basically it it's a collection of inspiring stories um, about from from these women to help other people other women you know um, face some of the problems in life and uh, get ahead with her life and that's what we're showing so i would like to uh, basically um, read an excerpt out of my own story. My chapter is inside this book and it's called Following My, Dr my Dreams and Turning Them Into Reality. And I would like to read like an excerpt out of uh, my chapter. So here I go. I firmly believe that effort, time, patience and perseverance are the keys to achieving your dreams. I also believe in the importance of having a good work-life balance and making sure to spend quality time with friends and family as well as enjoy the finer things in life. I take great pride in having created a lifestyle career, but it took a lot of effort and endurance for me to start to accomplish my dreams. I have merely scratched the surface in the last 10 years of what I feel I still have left to achieve. I try to enjoy life to the fullest and hope to be as inspirational to the next generation as previous generations have been for me. While I have turned many of my hobbies into a career, I continue to enjoy art, crafts, gardening, cooking, modeling, show production, people, and event management. Alongside enjoying an active family and social life, my positive attitude is what enables me 
to now be able to enjoy a fulfilling lifestyle even during the most trying of times from divorce to pandemics. Thinking positively can help turn negative experiences into positive outcomes. I like to see the best in everything and will keep striving to pursue my lifelong dreams. With so many exciting and challenging experiences over the last decade, I hope to keep turning my dreams into reality. As I quoted in the April 2021 edition of Isabella magazine, you have to follow your dreams, never give up no matter what age you are. And I will keep doing exactly that. So that's like a little bit of, of an excerpt out of this beautiful book. And um, here's the, the back page, all the co-authors in the book. And um, as I said, it's available. The website is www.empoweredinheels.org if you'd like to order this book. Okay, so uh, basically how I got here, what inspired me to write this book? Um, I have quite a, quite a big story. And um, you know, I've, I actually um, done a lot in my life. And you know, I mean, I've had some rough times and some good times, but I believe that um, whatever you do in life, always have a positive attitude, uh, no matter the rough times. And um, keep, keep your positivity. And um, I think that um, when people say you can't do this or you can't do that, well, I feel that the power is inside you. So I feel that you can do anything you want, okay? in life you have to be your own boss and you have the power within you to to do what you like to do and that's i think that's the key to succeeding and um i just want to talk a little bit about uh, how i grew up in canada i came to canada when i was like around nine years old i came from europe and uh, i was raised in a very strict background my dad was always strict with me and um you know, um, but you know, there's a, I learned a lot of lessons from him. He's a, he was a great guy. And uh, I remember when I first came to school, you know, and here in Canada, I knew no English. And um, I was being bullied. The kids were always like making fun of me and stuff like this. But I always had a great, the, the great backup of, uh, you know, my father and my parents. And, uh, you know, I went through uh, some rough times as I was growing up you know, your usual, you know, rough times. And I ended up, you know, having a divorce. But I remember um, I just um, was very, you know, um, positive about it. And I wanted to um, do good for myself and my kids. And I remember I grabbed the first job that I could right after the divorce. And I ended up uh, working for a telemarketing company, actually. And I knew nothing. I knew nothing about telemarketing. I knew nothing about sales. and. Um, so I sat there well, the first day, no sales. Second day, I got my first sale. It was like a small little office. It was about like 115 people or so, you know? And I got my very first sale. So everybody stood up and they clapped, they clapped me. And I felt so good. Like I was so inspired, so motivated. And from then on, I never left the office without getting a sale, you know. I never came home without a sale. And actually, I ended up being manager later on and uh, doing a lot of other things. And I got into modeling when I was, um, like it was around 2012. Um, I was working for a, a company which um, was um, like uh, promoting um, health and uh, health, basically health and uh, products. and. Um, they eventually I was like uh, their ambassador and uh, I modeled for their catalog and their brochures they it was actually a fluke uh, in 2012 because uh, the the lady the owner of the company approached me and she said uh, Demi like I love your exotic look and uh, you'd be great for my company and I would like you know your um, your age group to represent this it was a health and wellness products and Siachu massagers, um, infrared, like, um, you know, um, saunas, that kind of thing. And uh, I took, I took um, you know, um, I took this as a great thing and uh, I, I so wanted to do it. I always dreamed of doing this when I was young, but uh, because of, um, 
you know, certain restrictions and certain, um, I don't know, um, my dad didn't really want me to, to do these things, you know, um, these type of things. Um, so now was my chance, you know, to, to do something that I, I love doing, like a hobby. And uh, I ended up, my face was uh, actually uh, on the box of one of their products because I was, um, I was uh, doing this, I was um, do, like doing this in the, um, in, in the uh, exhibition. Uh, downtown uh, the local exhibition that we have every summer here um, and I was you know doing that so I, I loved it you know and that's how I started and from then on I did lots of other things in my life and like I, like I say take every chance you get and uh, try to be your, the best that you can be because that's exactly what I do whatever I do I always strive to be the best that I can be I treat people nicely just like the way I want them to treat me and that's it like um, I just have a positive outlook and um, by reading my story in Empowered in Heels I think that a lot of people will be very motivated and inspired by, by not just my story but all the other co-author stories so here's my message out to all women out there. Don't think, don't hesitate, okay? Just do what you want to do. Just do it. Don't be afraid. Uh, just take the first step and just do it. That's my message. Um, you know, um, just be positive and just feel what, what, how you, 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 you know, think how you feel. Feel do what you feel you know and um, I think that you'll be successful and um, just uh, grab my book uh, it's available like I said on chapters the website the Amazon website www.empoweredinheels.org so I'd like to thank Paul Wright and a thousand words because uh, I you know they have a beautiful YouTube channel out and uh, just watch his work is amazing he's an amazing videographer photographer interviewer and uh, please subscribe to this channel um, and uh, please buy the book also thank you so much thank you paul <laughs>